I'm Tiffany and welcome back to Bro Girl Aesthetic. Today I'm joining the Useful DIY Challenge that is hosted by Mom from Mom Das Life Handmade and her co-host in this month's challenge is Sandra with the Showin's Nest. The challenge is to take something, could be trash to treasure, anything that you have that you can upcycle, I suppose, and turn into something else. Uh, in, in this video, I'm taking something like just a cardboard box destined for the trash heap and turning it into a gift box. So stay tuned and you can see how I did that. Good morning, YouTubers. How's everybody doing? I'm doing pretty good today. Um, this is my video for the useful DIY challenge, which as you saw in my intro, is hosted by Mom Das and Sandra over the Showin's Nest. And I'm using a box <laughs> that would normally I would throw away. I'm gonna turn it into a gift box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover it with fabric, put uh, some stuffing inside it and uh, use it to give to my kid for her birthday. So I'm gonna use these uh, Velcro little um, dots to hold it down. So that's what you're looking at here. Um, I've got my fabric laid out and I'm going to measure and cut that. Uh, I didn't want to take it all apart to do it. I'm just going to slap the stuff on here. So <laughs> I'm, I've already, I've already kind of measured and marked out where it's going to go, but you can see how I was working on this. <clears throat> So I want to make sure I have enough on the sides to uh, flip in there for the for the little flaps on the top, and I'm going to glue it to the uh, to the fold there uh, that I measured from the edge or measuring from the edge of the fold to the edge of the fabric to see how much so I can put that on the other side too. Um, yeah, I'm kind of rushing through this a little bit. <laughs> uh, I've cut out and I'm trimming it down. So I'm, I'm working on it, you guys. I'm working on it. I think it's like three and a half inches that I marked down there. Yeah. So I'll move all my crap out of the way. <laughs> Apparently my phone likes to autofocus. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the fabric and I'm I'm only going to I'm going to cut the length I'm I'm just going to you know swipe it down all the way to the side and then I'll cut off what I don't need as I go I got this kit from Amazon with the uh, rotary cutter and the <laughs> my pink hair uh rotary cutter and the mat and the you know the big ruler and stuff I absolutely love it <sighs> I cannot cut fabric in a straight line to save my life. So this rotary cutter is amazing. So I'll just go ahead and cut straight down there. And get a nice, beautiful, crisp, straight line. I mean, in reality, I don't really have to worry about it because it's going to get glued, but I know nothing I hate more than trying to, to do something like that and that cuts off and you you know, have a gap of of some sort for, you know, where the where the fabric didn't meet up where you needed it to. And I am not quite sure what I was doing here. I finished this project a couple of days ago. I'm voicing over it's uh, the 13th and uh, pretty momentous day today uh, <laughs> to have this post it up in the morning. So now I've got it cut lengthwise um, or with I've got it cut to the width I want it. So now here I'm going to uh, get into gluing it and I'm just using a hot glue gun. Um, yeah, I really didn't want to try and rifle through and find any of my other adhesives. <laughs> my glue gun was out for my last project so I just I just kept it out. <laughs> My house is um, it's just a mess right now. I've got so much cleaning to do. And I will after this weekend because it's just been busy ever since the holidays. Uh, doing birthday celebrations. My birthday was on the Monday. We we hung out uh, 
last night. Uh, if you saw my Instagram post for the 13th, you'll saw you'll see that I posted the picture of the cake that I made. Really trying some of those uh, fancy schmancy cakes you see on Pinterest. So, <laughs> and I'm gonna try and do another fancy schmancy cake for my kid on Friday. Um, so yeah, I measured the inside of the box because I'm going to use this. Here's another piece of, of trash that I would have thrown out uh, in the, some box, you know, packing from some box that I got from Amazon, I'm guessing. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to measure out how big of a piece I need to cut to put on the inside to cushion what I'm going to put in there. And if my daughter watches this today, She'll know what the box looks like, but she will, and she will see at the end what's in it. But she better forget it so she doesn't. She can act surprised on Friday. <laughs> Jane, if you're watching this, turn it off now. If you don't want to know what's in it. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just gonna cut this, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover it with fabric. You know, I don't want it to be. <clears throat> I don't want it to look weird. Just you know, white foamy stuff in there. It's the kind of like, if you squish it, it sounds like the bubble wrap almost. <laughs> and yeah, I recognize here my line is not straight, which yeah, I measure twice, cut once, right? You're, you know, put a line down twice, three times, four times maybe, and then cut. <laughs> um, my, my faux pas here was that I measured the inside of the box and I cut it to that dimension. However, I wasn't taking into account the fact that there's going to be fabric in there. So while that fits now, after I put fabric on the outside and fabric on that, it won't fit. So here I'm, I'm, just, I'm speeding everything up now. <laughs> um, all I'm doing right now is I'm going to go ahead and start gluing. And I decided to come down to the, that seam or to that fold. Um, Wow. Okay. <laughs> I skipped over my gluing part. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this, <clears throat> making sure that it will fold properly. Uh, I'll cut off any excess that I'm not going to use. Like uh, I ended up cutting off the top two tabs and just leaving those little foldy ones that go on the inside. And here I'm just cutting excess because I'm not going to need all of that. I'm just going to need to fold over on those top flaps. <clears throat> yeah, we had a good time last night. We had lots of cake. Oh, it was so good. Death by Chocolate was right. <laughs> I think we all went, we all ended up having a su serious sugar crash about two hours later. It was just so much chocolate. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't follow a recipe per se. It was just out of a box, but I used some tips that I saw on Pinterest for, you know, making a cake really good and just did some extra stuff to it. So, so yeah, here I'm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to, to glue that on there since I didn't take it apart. And uh, I just folded it up there. Now I'm going to cut and trim as needed. Um, and then once I get to, uh, you know, closer to getting it glued on the inside, then I'll go ahead and cut the length off that I don't need anymore. I got so much glue on my fingernails. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of, I really enjoyed doing this one, you know, kind of thinking outside the box a little bit. Um, my mom gave me the fabric. She had made uh, my daughter and I some scrunchies for Christmas out of this stuff. So uh, I felt like it was a, a good pattern for, for this since she already has something that matches and she can keep her scrunchie in the box and... And yeah, okay, at this point I did measure to make sure I didn't, I wanted to get it right in there. So I'm just folding it in, folding it up to glue it inside, and then glue it down at the bottom. 
again trimming off the excess making sure that it's at least all covered in the fabric <clears throat> I'm sure there was probably an easier way to do this, but like I said in my last video, I just kind of go with it. I don't really think it out. I just kind of, or, you know, okay, this is the idea I have and how am I going to make it work? You know, I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go along. <laughs> this one is, this one is pretty good though. It worked out. And then my, my famous tiny little glue gun there. The more I use it, the more I'm really kind of liking it because it enables me to get into these, you know, tiny little places, the little corners and stuff. And I mean, while the, while bigger glue guns have that, you know, they can't have that long or skinny tip on it, but at least if it's a small one, I can fit my, you know, fit my hand in there. So there's that. And what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm deciding on if I want to cover the center part right there with this fabric but I think I'm going to use uh, this fleecy stuff it's like a, a fleecy blanket or a robe I think it was a actually I, I think it was a uh, uh, oh God, what's that thing called a snuggie that's what it was <laughs> it was an old snuggie so that's what I'm that's what I'm working with here <laughs> it's fabric from an old snuggie so I'm just gonna um, Actually, it's the sleeve part of it, so I'm cutting that apart. I'm just going to measure out about what size. Just glue the little square there. It's just to hide the. It's just to hide the the parts where I folded and glued, and to also give a soft uh, surface right there. If you know she wants to put something in it and doesn't want it to get damaged or scratched, then it's soft and it won't. You know won't do much to it so here I'm just cutting <laughs> and you'll see I didn't oh, this one I turned it this one yeah this part's okay but so I'm just gonna cut this little end right here not perfect but I'm gonna make sure it was at least the right size so fixing that little little swoop there and I'm just gonna hot glue that down as well <clears throat> throat's dry today. I want to make sure that making sure that I can close it with nothing in it and it stays yeah it stays in there I just have to uh, glue that piece on there that velcro. So now I can go ahead and Yeah, see, so yeah, it fits in there now just like that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and trim a little more off because that, that snuggy material is pretty thick. So I want to, you know, cut off the end a little more so it'll, so it'll close up okay once I get that material put on there. Loosen it up. I don't want to make it difficult to open or difficult to close. So, then I'll just take another piece. Did I even I just use scissors for this? I don't remember. <laughs> Cluttered space is a happy space? Can we make that a thing? Because <laughs> it seems like I'm always, I've always got cluttered space whenever I'm doing this stuff. And just, you know, I'm going to just cut right off there, that excess. And I, learning that I should have gone from the other direction of it. I was trying to line it up and make it all nice and pretty and straight. Which doesn't really matter since I'm gluing it onto a piece of foam. Yeah, see, I, <laughs> I, I, this is me realizing that I veered away from the straight edge and just sliced. <laughs> it's like, oops. 
But hey, it's fine. We make it work. You'll see. We make it work. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just going to cut it. Boom. Done. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> I think I speed this coming up too. Um, again, like I said, I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. Yeah, see? It's fine. It's fine because we're going to glue it, so it's okay. <laughs> Progress, not perfection, anybody? <laughs> Can I say that? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and you know take the hot glue gun to glue this down, wrap it around the edges. Uh, here I'm trimming off the excess. It's going straight down the bottom. Um, it's glued in, I think. I know I can't get it back out, so I think I did glue it down in there. Or the glue was still hot enough that it adhered. <clears throat> Which is fine, because you, you don't need to take it out. It's going to be for something special and kind of small, so. So yeah, put that in there and put my, a big chunk of glue off of my cutting board. <laughs> the thing that's really nice, it is a self-healing mat too, and it's purple on the other side, which I love. So yeah. It fits in there. It's, yeah, it worked out way better than I anticipated. In and out. And now I'll take one of these. I, I got these Velcro dots from Amazon, naturally. And I'll use those to um, effectively as a, as a, hmm, I can't think today, <laughs> to close it, to hold it closed. Uh, so yeah, I want to thank Sandra and Mom again for having this challenge. Uh, Mom, I think she's been, I've done this useful DIY challenge before. Uh, I think she does it every month. And uh, Sandra's co-hosting it. And it's great because it, it gives you a reason to take that thing you're going to throw away or donate or whatever. And hey, what can I do with this? What can I, what else can I make with this, you know? And maybe help somebody else figure out what they might want to do with something that they have that they need to throw away or get rid of or whatever. There's already enough trash out there. We might as well take what we have and turn it into something else, right? And um, the playlist and uh, their links will be in the description box below as well as links to whatever else I might be using that I can find on Amazon. If I if I can get the links for it, I'll I'll drop them down there. These little <laughs> these little dots, let me tell you. <clears throat> and here this is this is did I finish this yesterday or the day before? I don't remember when I finished this project up. But they're sticky, but I'm going to have to I have to hot glue it because uh while it's coming apart now, I realized that it's probably not the best on fabric. So if you're using it like just on cardboard or more porous material, something that's not, you know, fabric. And there it is. That's what it looks like completed uh, with her little gift inside. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is out loud because she might be listening to me in the other room right now. <laughs> uh, I think at some point I zoom in on this, so <laughs> you'll be able to see something she's really going to like, I hope. Um, and uh, that's it. So let me know what you guys think about this. I want to thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.